Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look how to make this kind of new morphic design. You can click on this, it will disappear and you click back, it shows up with this glowing on the top side and a little bit shadow on the bottom side, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. Well, for flutter new morphism, you need to apply four rules. Uh, the first one is the screen background color and next your container border color then shadow color and then you will have uh, this animation where you show and hide the shadow color with the animation so first we'll take a look at this rule screen background color so here i have this scaffold and i have set this background color so that's the first rule that you need to know your whole screen should have a background color so if you run it you'll see the result like this well let's take a look at the second rule container border color so here i have this container and container has a border color which is gray color as same as the screen color okay or screen background color so in general for a neomorphic design you should have your screen background color and container border color they should be the same let's run it okay well so far we don't see anything but they would be obvious very soon well the next rule is shadow color so we need to apply shadow to our container now next we are applying shadow to our border like this is over here our container and now here we are applying shadow while we are applying two shadows because uh, this is the result we want to achieve so we want to achieve this result whiter on the top left right and grayer or a little bit dark on the bottom right side so that's why we have this two shadow all over here here you can see this bag this color this shadow color refers to this bottom over here because here my offset is 4 4 so 4 4 in general refers to the right and the bottom okay because they are all positive now over here you see my other shadow box shadow is referring to top left which is all minus so if your box shadow is offset is all minus then it refers to the top left and you see the color they're different so one is gray another is white now this makes a big difference with your border color over here you see the border color is gray 300 which is a little bit lighter now here i just have purely gray complete gray so this is over here complete gray but the border color is totally the same as background color because we have two different colors on the top left and bottom right it does look like that it came out from the surface so in general you want to apply three colors to it okay one for the screen and other two for the two border side okay and border color must be same as your screen color next we'll see how to show and hide the shadow color with animation now for animation at the top we have defined a boolean which is true for elevated button now here our container we have wrapped around it gesture detector and inside this i have this on set state function which triggers redraw of the ui and each time it is tapped we change the boolean okay we change the boolean value and based on this value over here the box shadow gets triggered or off as you can see over here if elevated is true we can see the box shadow if elevated is false there is nothing it's null okay now here we can work on this just like this but we want to apply a bit of animation so now this container become animated container but it takes another property which is duration we'll set duration as a 200 okay so 200 milliseconds now let's go ahead and run it now we'll see simple animation okay Anyway, so if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and you can get the code from the link below. Thank you so much.